Hey guys, Darth Nate here again with another Fallout 4 video. I've been doing a little bit experimenting with the new glitch that we found online. Um, we found a way to attach different weapon mods from different weapons to other weapons. So for example, this is the Experiment 18A originally, the plasma rifle from the Institute. a legendary plasma rifle with 25% faster fire rate and 15% faster reload. Now we've done some modding on this and we've added a MERV launcher from the Fat Man nuclear launcher which fires multiple nuclear warheads at once and we've gone ahead and attached that to an automatic plasma rifle. Just to give you an idea of how this thing works we'll uh, do a little test here. We're over in Fire Harbor, so we'll just fire off a couple of shots. As you can see, pretty devastating. And you can literally fire off as many as the round can keep. it's using up my plasma ammunition which is several thousand rounds at the moment so I'm not likely to run out anytime soon and although it's using um, plasma ammo it's actually firing mini nukes so I'll just give you a little view of what that does against some real enemies so let's pick up a trapper here probably won't hit him from here but we'll give it a go did the trick. Obviously you can't be too close when you use this because it does have a very big uh, area of effect. And uh, yeah, we'll come on in a moment and I'm going to show you how to make one of these and how to make other modded and glitched weapons too. Hi guys, Darth Nate here. So we're going to do um, quickly show you how to make we're going to quickly show you how to make these cool funky weapons right now, show you how to do the glitch real quick. So you want to take the weapon that you want to take the mod from, so in this case it's going to be the barbed wire baseball bat, and we're going to take that and we're going to call it zero. So we're going to try and take the barbed wire off that. And then you want to take a weapon that's kind of similar. So that that will work. Uh, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got here a stunning super sledge. I guess we can use that. And we'll call that, rename that number one. There we go. So now you see they both sit next to each other in the menu. Zero and one. It's got a stun pack on it, it's got barbed wire. Okay, now let's see if we can make the glitch work. So now that we've got them both lined up in the menu, you need to auto save. I just quickly went into my menu then to force an auto save. Or do a hard save, depending on how long you're going to be doing this. As you might lose some weapons and scrap others that you didn't want to in the process. So what you're going to do is just press scrap and modify at the same time. Really simple. Get up a sort of glitch screen like this. You press scrap. And you'll see there that the mod for baseball bat is still there. But the baseball bat's gone. So now we can choose any one of these to stick onto our super sledge. I'll go with bladed. And it's not going to animate correctly <laughs> for this one, unfortunately. But let's put, let's call it bladed super sledge. There 
we go. Let's just get that out of our menu. You can see there it animates as <laughs> just having random blades floating in midair, but the damage on it's up to 386, which is just ridiculous. So let's get that up. Let's just do a little quick save, in case we enrage anyone. You talked to Cassie Dalton? Shame. Okay, so that's the first glitched weapon we've got, and you can see there the blade just floating in midair. Well, if nothing else, it gives you a lot of extra reach. I'll give you that. It's like you just stuck the baseball bat on the end. Right, so let's find... Right, so we'll go on to the workbench now. And rename the weapons that we want to do. So we'll rename the Fat Man. Number zero. And... I think we'll change this one to... Oh, that's already number one. Okay, so let's try again, see if we can get this. Alright, let's try again. I think that might have worked. Yeah, there we go. Put the move launcher on the laser rifle. So let's rename that quickly. Uh, what should we call it, guys? Laser move. <laughs> Laser nuke. Okay, we'll give that gun a little go now, see how it, how it plays out. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't even fire it. Oh yes I can. Fucking hell, look at that. <laughs> I think it might be fully automatic. Right. Well that could have gone better. Let's see if we can reload it. Alright, so we've reloaded now. We're going to try and do that one again because that was pretty cool. <laughs> the laser nuke, there it is. Oh wow, overcharged capacitor. Move launcher. Let's see what this bad boy does. So when it's animating, can't really see it, but it's, it's sort of animating, kind of funny. Let's see what happens. Did it fire two shells? Did you just check? No, just one. So it says it's supposed to. Holy fuck, nuts! It says it's supposed to fire two projectiles but do you know what it doesn't really matter that much and it's just so ridiculous anyway Let's see how many we can fire out before the game crashes oh it's glitching like fuck Doesn't want to fire. Let's try the mini move instead. Fuck. 
okay now look at that like an actual nuke went off absolutely deadly gotta be careful with these new guns peeps so we're gonna see what else we can make now so far we've made a laser nuke basically a laser rifle with a Merv launcher and a mini, mini Merv which is a plasma rifle with a Merv launcher attached so I think we might try something a bit different, I might try something a bit avant-garde and swapping a Gatling laser with a gamma gun or something like that so let's see what else we can do so let's try the gamma gun I'll rename that zero let's see if we can make a gamma gun gatling laser rename that number one and then again we're going to want to press scrap and modify at the same time x and square I'm not sure if that worked I'll risk it Oh my god. It worked. I did it. Let's try. Oh yeah, it's on the deep dish. Put a few more uh, mods on here. Rename this Gamma Gatling. I don't know. <laughs> Gatling Gamma. Let's see what this can do. Deep dish does not seem to have had any effect on that whatsoever. So we can do something else interesting. How about a harpoon gun or a shotgun? So again, we're going to call this number one. The harpoon guns are going to be zero. Alrighty. Barbed harpoons. Let's see what that does. You can see it there in the current mods. I'm not sure if it's going to actually do anything. We'll find out soon. We have to test this on something. I 
Oh shit, my fucking dog. There's anything in him or not? I don't think there's any harpoons in him. Oh shit! Oh wait, no, there is. There's fuckloads. Oh my god. Oh wow, that's awesome. Let's see if we can make this gun fully auto. So that's a bit disappointing. I'll do a quick save and then I'll practice on one of my settlers. Oh my god, look at how many bad typhoons it did. It literally did one for every shotgun bullet. Uh, well, no time like the present to test out these crazy weapons. Let's see what we can do. for the shoddy. Holy fuck, that's beast. How's that settler doing? There's harpoons everywhere. Uh, okay, let's try the laser nuke. Uh, that's decided not to work. Let's try the mini move. One shot. I think you get the idea. You can make all sorts of funky weapons.
All right, hopefully this works this time and get it. Yes, we got flash jets. We got flash jets on the unlimited shotgun. Let's just double check. Yeah, it's on that. Okay. Let's just rename that then. Awesome. Can I just give the game a quick save and we'll go give that a test run. Alright guys, so just to recap after all that modding and glitching, we managed to make a variety of different weapons. Uh, we made the bladed super sledge. That will work on a, uh, a legendary obviously as well if you needed to. We also made the Gatling Gamma Gun, the Deep Dish doing 300 damage, radiation damage, on top of the 55 damage per shot. Somehow managed to get two beam focuses on there, so I think that's why. Uh, we also got the Laser Nuke, which only seems to shoot when you're in third person or you use VATS, but it fires the Merv at the speed of a laser, it's really quick. Uh, the mini Merv plasma cannon, of course, the plasma rifle with Merv launcher attachment, personal favourite of mine. And the radioactive harpoon shotgun. 50 points of additional radiation damage, but most importantly has a barbed harpoon instead of a quick... Um, Quick exit drum. So this fires harpoons as well as uh, buckshot and does radi radiation damage too. And we got the unlimited harpoon shotgun. No issues with uh, clip size with this baby, it fires flechettes indefinitely. Absolutely devastating. And uh, my most recent one, the Violent Delights. Minigun rocket launcher, which is using a triple barrel from a mini uh, a missile launcher. Couldn't get my words out. And uh, for some reason, this one in particular seems to no longer have use ammunition because it's glitched out so much. It's essentially unlimited and also doesn't use ammo. I'll just demonstrate that. I can literally just walk around with this thing all day just firing off unlimited harpoon shotgun. You can see there the flashette shooting out radioactive harpoon shotgun with the barbed harpoons and my personal favourite the mini Merv plasma cannon oh there we go I've done it again killed myself well thanks very much for watching guys uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos, glitches, walkthroughs, etc. for Fallout 4 and other games. My name's Darth Nick. See you soon.